it's me Ariana here again so uh it's been a quite long time I never do video and I didn't even draw so today I guess I'm free so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do a drawing today which is a simple landscape okay I I've already draw the mountain um so you could see now I'll show you guys for a bit quite long time um so i'll be showing you all this mountain for quite long time so that you all could draw I think I'll start already because it's getting too long. Okay, so let's start with the drawing. Okay. Uh, you should darken up the mountain. So you have to darken it up like this. Um, that. So just draw the mountains. It's kind of easy. Really. And then I could if and I could show you the next part. Okay, so let's move on. Um, if you have blending stamp, you could darken up this place. Okay, uh, the inner part of the mountain. Um, but if you don't have, you could use cotton bud or maybe tissue. Okay. So I'm using tissue, but and it's not. It's not. I need it. Ah. Uh, um, actually, I had blending some, but. your drawings um, mess so I don't think so we do have to do that okay so let's move on with the other things so if you all want to ask me questions or anything you can ask in the comments below okay Okay, <laughs> okay, let's move on. Sophia, stop. Stop making noise.
life. That's not good. Um, I'm teaching y'all and maybe if y'all like my drawing, you can subscribe and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified uh, whenever I post a new video. Drawing um, uh, from Farjana Drawing Academy. They're the best. And I got the inspiration from them, I guess. Okay, guys. Put 
So go like that. You have to uh, put the light circle. Um, I think that there it is. Okay, so um, let's continue. As I said, to darken it up, you could use a blending stump, a cotton bud, or even a tissue. Okay, so you still should darken up that. We could start darkening it up. Um, you could sharp a pencil and the thing it is, you should put it in the circle and then you just use the uh, use the cotton bud to darken it in. You could tell me in the comments below whether I'm a good teacher or not. Um, if I'm not, uh, you could say that I won't take it as thing. Then maybe I'll try to improve myself. I think I'll teach y'all a more better way. Um, that circle we can just move it. Um, so I'll teach you all another way and then you could see it. But um, not that you can I mean, not that you can follow me do the way that I did. You could even put that circle like how I did this now. Um, it's correct too, and this one I'm teaching on another way. Okay, so let's, let me teach you all. Guys could do big circles or even small circles, a medium, in any size you like, anything. I'm doing in a big circle. This is my circle that I cut, but it's it has markers on it. So let's start. Okay, so um, so what you have to do is this to let me show you all. So after if you sharp a pencil, you have that black black things there, right? So you have to put it around your circle. Like this, but you need to use um, 
or maybe um, tissue, like how I said before. And you have to keep them the same line. I think blending some is more easier, but I lost mine. how you did this exactly here so let's do this there it is and you could even add clouds here and I'm gonna do that so let's see so to do the cloud first what you have to do is take a piece of paper and draw cloud on it and cut it up okay, and here's my cloud it's kind of cute so then like this now how we did the moon we have to sharpen your pencil and the black thing you have to put it wherever you want and so I'm gonna put it here so then you do it back like that here too like that and then that'll be the top so let's try and see it like this now Cloud. Uh, it kind of looks like a rice cooker, but um, <laughs> it's kind of nice. And I'm gonna do one more over here, which 